everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm here to film the first little section of my next haul and yeah i have five shops to go over with you guys for this portion and i'm super excited about this stuff so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first shop i have to share with you guys is once more with love this is the journaling card i got with my order and then these are the two freebies. So this is the April freebie. And then this was a freebie that she was doing just for this weekend of these new releases. So this is probably the main reason I went ahead and placed an order because I really wanted the Pride freebie. And now on to my order. So... The first thing I got was the holiday munchkins. I've been trying to stock up on my holiday character stickers, so I went ahead and picked these up. And then I got these crybaby stickers, these FU stickers, these battery stickers, which you can actually color in whatever you want into the battery, whether you want it to be high or low. And then I got these Late AF stickers. These are probably my favorite ones that I got the best day ever. And then I stocked up on some ones that I was running low on. So we have the YouTuber ones, YouTube Binge, Low Battery, these rain April shower stickers, and then these uh, May flowers springtime stickers. So yeah, that is it for Once More With Love. So next up I have an order from Murdoch Talks. This is the freebie I got with my order. And then this was placed during her maybe a birthday or anniversary sale, something like that. And I stocked up on some foil bundles that I missed out on when they were originally released. She brought these foil colors back, which I'm really excited about. So, the first bundle I got was this, like, turquoise into purple type of foil. I think she called it, like, a mermaid or something like that. It's super pretty. I hope you guys can see it's yeah I don't know I really like it I think it's perfect so you can buy the bundle which I believe is eight sheets and then you can do a la carte so I got the bundle plus some extras so here's the first sheet with the hole protectors and half cut headers date dots and corners kiss cut icons circle icons and I think this sheet is the easiest to see the turquoise into the purple foil so really like that got one sheet of the headers I picked up two script samplers three full box overlays four of the bougie boxes and then the one bottom washi overlay so that is that foil and then this one is a her version of a lavender hollow hopefully you guys can see that I'm not gonna go into this one like I did before but I'll show you guys the sheet so you can really see that foil so that is that foil bundle. And then the last one is a light pink hollow, which I really, really love. Let's see if I can find the sheet. I love this color so, so much. So yeah, that is it for my three foil bundles from Murdoch Talks. Okay, so next up I have an order from Caress Press. These are the two freebies I got. This one in gold and this one in rose gold. 
So the first thing I got was the April Mystery Kit. She does come out with the overstock of her mystery in her shop, so I just had to pick this one up. I unsubscribed to the mystery kit sometime last year, and I've just been getting the ones that I like whenever they come to shop, and this one was a must. So, this is like a really pretty Japan type kit, and I am obsessed with it. So, these are the phone boxes. And this is in glossy paper, and it's in her full kit format, I believe. Don't quote me on that, because she has so many different formats, I don't even know which one I got. I normally get either essentials or full. Love the deco, the tamagotchi, these little drinks, I don't know what they're called, but I really like them. And then here is the bottom washi and the extra full box. And then I did pick up the Fashion Girls because, I mean, how could I not? They are absolutely beautiful. And then I also got the 15mm washi add-on. And then I did get some foil bundles. And the first one I got was the one that actually came with this mystery. It's like a pink foil sparkly pink maybe anyways so this is the foil bundle and I have this is the first time I've gotten foil bundles from Caress Press because I'm not a huge fan of the format the main reason being is we only get one sheet of eight full box overlays and I usually use at least 10 full boxes in a spread so I definitely need more of these to work in a spread because I don't like mixing metals so I did get two of each foil bundle I picked up for that reason so I have extras and then I'll de-stash what I don't need so we have the four not four eight full boxes and then we have the headers uh, deco and then the bottom washi And then we have the Scripps hole protectors, which I love that she includes these in her foil bundles, and the Chris Cut icons and the date dots. And then we have two sheets of Bougie Box underlays. So yeah, that is that foil. And then I did pick up two of them. And then she also released during this week the butterfly foil bundle. This week she only picked up, she only released, sorry, the gold and the hollow. Later she did release um, the other foil colors, so I did pick those up. So you'll see those probably in the next portion. So this is the gold butterflies. I wish she released them a little earlier so I could use them in some spring spreads, but I love this. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love the style of the full boxes. Again, just wish there were some more. But yeah, here are the full boxes. We have the bottom washi deco and headers. Kiss cut icons, scripts, hole protectors, and date dots. And then again, two underlay sheets. So that is the gold butterfly, and I did get two of those, and then I'm not going to go through this because it's the same format as the gold, but I did pick up two of the hollow butterflies. And that is it for my order from Caress Press. So next up I just have one kit from Glam Planner, but this is probably one of my favorite kits of all time. This is her Ursula inspired artwork. And I am obsessed. I love everything about this kit. The full boxes are gorgeous. I love that she added Flotsam and Jetsam. Absolutely amazing. I love the tattoo. This is Poor Unfortunate Souls. This is the ultimate kit. So we do have a couple extra full boxes up there. Love this so, so much. Like, I'm definitely going to use this this summer. It's going to be amazing. 
I need to find the perfect purple foil to go with this. Like seriously, it's so beautiful. And then we have the bottom washi and the date covers. And because this was an ultimate kit, we did get the add-ons. So we have these extra full boxes, which I'm definitely going to use this one instead of the double box that came in the kit. We have the double box label sampler, which did not come in the kit. So I picked up two of them separately. And then the glitter headers. So that is it from Glam Planner. Okay, so next up I have Scribble Prints Co. So I just got a handful of freebies that I'll go over really quickly. Lots of scripts. Whoops. And then for my actual order, I picked up some of her doodles. So I got the uh, laundry machine, vacuum, and the wax melts. And then I picked up two of this foil bundle that she released. This is a royal blue star format, which I absolutely love. I think it's going to look amazing with a lot of 4th of July uh, spreads. So we have the two pages of full boxes, two pages of the underlays, scripts, and icons. And then the bottom washi, which I think really showcases how beautiful this foil is. So yeah, I got two of those. And now for the kits. So the first kit I got was a reformat from the May Mystery of last year. So this is the freebie that came with the kit. And then I also picked up the 15mm washi. And here is the kit. This is called Visco Summer. Again, it was a reformat from an old mystery kit, which I love. These colors are absolutely stunning. And this is an ultimate kit, if I did not mention that before. Love the tie-dye bottom washi. And that is that kit. And then probably one of <laughs> the best pride kits I've ever seen. This is the freebie that came with the kit, and then again, the 50mm washi. Now this is Pride Pool Party, and it is exclusive artwork. And it's obviously a beautiful Pride kit. I am obsessed with these colors. Look at that full box. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to be using this. The second week of June, because June is Pride Month, but the first week of June I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to the beach, so I really want to use a beach kit for that week. I normally use Pride kits the first week of June, but we're going to go with the second. Look at that bottom washi. Absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited about this kit. I have no idea what foil color I'm going to use. Hopefully I find some fun foil that matches, but otherwise I'll probably just use a silver. But yeah, this kit is absolutely beautiful. I love the smoothie over here. Like, it's it's just stunning. Anyways, that is it for Scribble Prints Co. And that is also it for this portion of the haul. So I will see you guys in just a second for part two. Okay, so today I'm going to be filming the second portion of this haul. I have four shops to go over with you guys today, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first shop I have to feature with you guys is a brand new shop. It is Sticker Obsession Co. This is the freebie that I got, and she is doing weekly themed $2 Tuesday releases and this is was her first release and it is a 101 Dalmatian theme. So obviously I picked this stuff up to go with the Cruella kit from Claim Planner that I showed you guys I believe in the portion before this but it might have been the haul before this. I'm not sure. But anyways if you guys are interested in shopping from Sticker Obsession Co. I do have a referral link 
in the description box below, which will give you, I believe, $5 off your first purchase. But don't quote me on that. The information's down below. Anyways, so this is what I picked up. I picked everything up in a silver foil. So I got the Dalmatian Puppy Headers. I got the Dalmatian Spot Headers. And then I got some full box overlays. So I got the framed Dalmatian puppies. The Dalmatian spots, which feature the scene uh, full boxes here. So yeah, that's that one. And then I got the regular Dalmatian spot full boxes. I got some cold box overlays. And then finally, the 15 millimeter Dalmatian spot washi overlay. So that is it for my first ever order from Sticker Obsession Co. Super excited about this stuff. Definitely will not be my last. I know she did sneak that she's going to be releasing a superhero theme and a Little Mermaid theme before the end of May, which I'm really excited about because those are going to go perfectly with the Marvel or superhero art set that Guinness Girl just came out with, as well as the brand new exclusive art set that SBC came out with that features The Little Mermaid. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but it is amazing and I'm super excited about it. So, that is what I got from there. Super excited. Again, referral link in the description box down below. Next up, I have a small order from Caress Press. I got the two other foil colors for the butterfly foil bundles that I was missing from the last portion. So I got silver and rose gold, and then I got gold and hollow last time. So I'll just quickly go over the format really quickly. So we have eight full box overlays, the bottom washi and headers, Scripts, kiss cut icons, some hold protectors, which I really like that she includes those, and date covers. And then, or not date covers, date dots. And then I got two sheets of bougie boxes. So like I said, got silver and rose gold, and then I got two of each funnel color. So yeah, that is it for Crest Press. Next up, I have just a one kit order from Glam Planner. I am obsessed with this artwork. This is a reformat. Last time I picked this up, I got the mini kit, but I went and got to the luxe version this time around. I believe this kit is called Watercolor Seas or something along those lines. But anyways, it's gorgeous. The colors are amazing. The artwork is beautiful and I'm definitely going to be using this in the summer. So those are the full boxes. Again, this is a luxe kit. Two extra full boxes there. Boxes, we have the deco. More boxes, little things. Bottom washi. And then, because this was an ultimate, we got a whole bunch of extras. We have the glitter headers. Fashion girls, which I'm probably going to use this one because it gives me aerial vibes. And then we have the double box, and then I did pick up the label sampler. Label samplers do not come with the Lux kits in shops. They do come with come with the subscription, but I always like to pick these up because we just don't get that many boxes in Glam Planner kits. So yeah, that is it for Glam Planner. Next up, I have two orders from SPC. The first one is going to be the May sub, so if you guys have not received it yet or have not watched the spoiler video, this is your warning. So, this is the kit. It is a beautiful pool party summer kit. I love how bright the colors are and the artwork is just stunning. This is a luxe kit, so we get all of the extras and the foil. I love the tall box, definitely going to be using that. We have the deco, glitter headers, rounded boxes, the labels, decorative labels, and the bottom washi and date covers. 
And then we have like the label sampler and then some Fashion Girl variations. And then we have even more boxes and then the bottom 15 millimeter washi. And then this kit came with a fun foil foil bundle, which I'm really excited about. It is this really pretty sparkly orange. Now the only complaint I have about this is that it's in the star format. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to use a celestial or a heart or sorry, a celestial or a star format unless there's something in the kit that has something themed to celestial or stars or whatever. So Although the foil color would look amazing with this kit, the format is just not for me. So, um, yeah. So, I don't know. Is that just me? Like, will you guys use a star or celestial format with any kit despite the theme? Maybe I'm just being too picky. I don't know. If you guys do do a spread featuring this foil with this kit, please tag me in it so I can see what it looks like because maybe you guys will change my mind. But for right now, my plan is to hang on to this for Halloween season or fall in general because I think this foil is going to look absolutely amazing with Halloween kits especially. And she always comes out and sells the extra foil bundles from the subscription in shop in a few weeks so I'm definitely gonna pick up several more of these foil bundles because I think it's absolutely amazing so anyways um those pages are stuck together so we get two sheets of the full boxes and headers two sheets of bougie boxes then we have the scripts and the icons and lastly, the bottom washi, which is where you can really see that sparkly orange. I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful color. So yeah, that is it for the subscription. And then I have one more order from SBC to go over with you guys. Okay, so here is the kind of big order from SBC. Obviously, I got a ton of freebies and you can see the $150 freebie here. So obviously, this was a little bit of a larger order. This is one of the freebies I got. Then we have lots of scripts. These are all in gold. And then the massive labels. So, onto the order. So, the first thing I got was just the 4th of July uh, full box, cold box overlays, whatever, in a silver. I just got one of these because I know this is the foil color I'm going to be using with my 4th of July kit this year. And then I did pick up the foil bundle that was released this week. This is a black prism celestial theme. So same format as before. It's kind of hard to see the black, so black prism. So I'm going to show you guys on the bottom washi. Maybe you can see it. It is super, super faint. So I don't even know if you guys would be able to see that. Don't know when I'm going to use this, but I always get two foil bundles because I'm always afraid that they're going to sell out. And then they're discounted for the weekend of the release, so I have to pick them up. Okay, so now on to the many, many kits I got. So, firstly, I got the coffee shop kit. All of these are ultimate, so I did pick up the 15mm washi, and then this was the freebie that came with the kit. And then here is the artwork. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I think this would be perfect to use, like, for finals week, I think, is what I would probably save it for, because... As a college student, you do spend quite a lot of time in coffee shops studying, so I think this is perfect for that. I love the colors. They're absolutely beautiful. The artwork's amazing. You can't go wrong with Kit Miss Girl Jess. Whoops. And then the bottom washi. So that is that kit. The next kit I got is Summer Forever. Again, 15 millimeter washi, and then this was the freebie, which is just some extra 
skin tones for one of the phone boxes. And here is the kit. It's a very beautiful poolside kit. I love it so, so much. These fashion girls are everything. Probably, like, without them, I probably wouldn't have purchased this kit. It is super stunning. The colors are amazing. Glitter headers, rounded boxes. I mean, come on. Look at that bottom washi. Like, seriously, beautiful. Love it. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, I have the Dreamland kit. Washi and freebie. And then, here is the artwork. I picked up this kit because it is heavy on Disneyland. We have Pixar Pier, the Disneyland ears. Um, we have Adventure, Avengers Land, which I'm super excited about, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so yeah, I picked this up simply because it was Disneyland themed, because I'm not a huge fan of this artist's style. It's, she's super talented, it's beautiful, but it's just not for me. So I typically don't pick up kits featuring her artwork. But I definitely needed a Disneyland kit in my collection. All of the Disney Parks kits that I do have are pretty much exclusively Disney World. So I needed something for Disneyland. Love the bottom washi. So yeah, so that's why I picked up this one. And then next up, I have Magic, sorry, Magical 50th, which I'm so excited about. So we have the 15 millimeter washi and then the freebie. This features exclusive artwork and I mean come on <laughs> it is so 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 beautiful. So obviously it's inspired by Disney World. I love that this features artwork or scenes from all of the parks. They have Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Epcot. It's perfect. So I actually purchased two of these kits. <laughs> They're both ultimate kits, but I will explain why in just a second. I just want to get through the kit first. Look at that bottom washi. I mean, come on. Anyways, and then I did pick up the Fashion Girl add-on. So my reason for two kits is because I want to use one of them for Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary this year. It's going to start the week of October 1st, so that's when I'm going to use one of the kits. And then the other one I'm going to hang on to until I'm able to go to Disney World. I'm not going to go to Disney World anytime soon because of COVID and I'm in school and whatnot. So I'm going to hang on to this one until then. But I definitely had to pick up two of them because the artwork is just phenomenal. So yeah, that is it for SVC. And that is it for this portion of the haul. So I will see you guys in just a second for the final portion. Okay, so I have a really quick third portion for this haul. I just have two shops to go over with you guys, but I really wanted to get this stuff put away and I haven't been doing a whole lot of spending, so I don't know when my next batch of Happy Mail is going to be coming in, so we're going to start with this. Okay, so first up I have a order from Beneva Creations. This was placed during the PVC sale, so obviously I placed a little bit of a large order because I got three freebies. So this is the first one. Then we have this one. And lastly, this larger sheet. And then on to my order. I mainly picked up her food doodles, but I got a couple other things. So first I wanted to add to my dinosaur <laughs> stickers. So I got the Spinosaurus, Pterodactyl, Ankylosaur, and the Stegosaurus. Then for the food doodles, I got sandwiches, 
salads, not food at all, but alarm clocks, pizza, boba, breakfast sandwich, hash browns, Caesar salad, burritos, nachos, chicken sandwiches, uh, not food again, but phones, and then I got cereal. And then a few other things I picked up I got the uh, laundry machine, um, I got the sad tissues sick one, the ice cream, sad ice cream, I got the freezing one, and then I got two different headphones ones. Um, I plan to use these for listening to audiobooks. But yeah, that is it for Bonita Creations. Okay, so next up, I just have my small little order from Scribble Prince Co. So I got a couple freebies. Both are in rose gold. And then I did pick up the foil bundle for this week. I did get two of them. And it is a celestial emerald green don't know if you guys can see that but it's the usual foil bundle format and yeah i thought it would be really great with some halloween kits maybe you can really see the foil right there i don't know about you guys but i'm kind of getting tired of all these celestial and star formats i really want some more confetti and a twinkle formats because that's definitely what I use the most. But yeah, that is the foil bundle. So now on to two of my favorite kits of all time. So firstly, we have this part of your world aerial themed kit. This was a freebie that came with it. I'm obsessed with this. It's exclusive artwork. It is stunning. I'm definitely going to make room to use it this summer. I think I'm going to use it back to back with the Ursula kit from Glam Planner. But just everything about this kit is absolutely stunning. The colors, the artwork, everything. I love Ariel. She's one of my favorite Disney princesses and this kit is perfect. Don't know what foil I'm going to use with it. That emerald, emerald green foil bundle I just showed would look nice with it if you guys don't mind using a celestial format with this. Or if you can find a red foil bundle, that's going to look amazing. I think I'm probably going to use hollow, but we shall see. Then I did pick up the washi and then the fashion options. Don't know if I'm actually going to use those, but I picked it up just in case. And then, the one kit that I'm so excited she decided to reformat is the Jurassic kit. Obviously inspired by Jurassic Park, which is my favorite movie of all time. All the Jurassic Park and all of the Jurassic World movies, I just love them so, so much. So, I had to pick up the reformat, of course. So... This is an ultimate kit, just like the last kit, if I did not mention that. And I got two of them because I'm extra and I love it so much. I'm definitely going to be saving one of these kits to use next year for when the final Jurassic World movie comes out in June. And then the other one I'm just going to hoard until I decide it's time to binge watch all the movies. So I did get the 15mm washi add-on, one for each of the kits, and then that is the freebie that came with it. So yeah, that is it for this very, very small portion. And because this is so small, I'm probably going to do a fourth portion, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so we are back for the, I believe, fourth and final part of this haul. I have four shops to go over with you guys. Um, I do want to say I apologize in advance if you hear some meowing in the background. I added a member to the family about a week ago, and uh, yeah, he's very, very needy and is always crying if he's not held. So he's sleeping right now, but he may start meowing 
quite a bit <laughs> in a little. So I just want to point that out. I'll talk more about him in one of my upcoming plan with me's. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this portion of the haul. So the first thing I have is a $2 Tuesday order from Sadie Stickers. This was her leopard print uh, release. And I got this specifically to use with the Tarzan kit from Glam Planner, I believe. And I got everything in gold. Um, I don't think she offers light gold in her shop, but this almost looks light gold to me. I'm not sure. But anyways, I got the date dots two of the header overlays, three of the full box overlays, and then four of the bougie or underlays, and then I got one of the thin washi overlays. So yeah, very small order from Sadie's stickers. Next, I have a $2 Tuesday order from Murdoch Talks. This was the freebie that came with it. And then I got two foil bundles. So the first one I got was a sparkly red. And she offers, you can buy the full foil bundle, which I believe is eight sheets. And then she has them a la carte. So I always do a mix. So first we have the hole protectors and half cut headers. I love when foil bundles include the half cut headers, or not half cut headers, the whole protectors. We have corners and date dots, the kiss cut icons, and then the circle icons, which might be the easiest to see the foil color on. And then I got two of the script samplers, one of the header overlays, three of the full box overlays, four of the bougie box or underlays, and then one of the bottom washi overlays. So that was that one. And then I did get this one, which is the same format. Um, I got the same sheets as I did this one. And this is the 4th of July one, which is a red white and blue or red silver and blue and i'm going to use this with the fourth of july kit you guys are going to see in just a second so i will just breeze through this there are some imperfections in these foil bundles but that is the price you pay for in-house foil um it honestly doesn't bother me so much um and frankly i appreciate when shops do their own foil in-house instead of ordering it um but yeah anyways so scripts the full boxes and then the foil varies the pattern of the foil varies from sheet to sheet because it is vertical strips of the um foil colors and like you can see here the pattern of the colors does not match on all the different sheets of the bougie, but that's okay. I kind of like the variation. And then lastly, we have the bottom washi. So yeah, that is it for Murdoch Talks. Okay, so next up we have Glam Planner. I have my 4th of July kit and then I have the May Mystery. So I'm going to go over this one first. This was... I believe exclusive artwork and I just love it so much. I love that it's traditional bright red, white, and blue. So that's really what drew me into this one. This was a luxe kit. And I was super excited to use this paired with the foil bundle I just showed you from Murdoch Talks. I think it's going to look amazing. And then because this was the Lux, we get a whole bunch of extras. So we have the tall fashion girls, glitter headers. Then I picked up two of the label samplers. These don't actually come with the Lux kit. And then we have the double box and then some extra skin tones of that box. And then next up, this is your warning. I'm going to be showing the 
May Mystery for 2021. If you haven't received yours yet, you might want to skip ahead. <laughs> okay, so this is the May Mystery. I I like it. It's not my favorite. This definitely isn't my style, if you ask me. Um, I'm still going to hang on to it. I think it'd be really cute to use in February because it's not, it's very pink. It's not, you know, Valentine's Day, but it's pink. And I typically like to use very heavy on the pink kits in February. So we have all of that. Then the foil that came with the kit is a sparkly hollow. I never use this foil. I always stick it to the side. And when I have a big enough pile, I'll de-stash it. And then we have the Fashion Girls glitter headers, label sampler, double box. And then we have some extra boxes that can actually be pulled in to use this for a birthday kit. So yeah, that is it for Glam Planner. And now we are going to move on to SPC. Okay, so on to SPC. I do have one order and then my June mystery, which is flipped upside down just in case you guys don't want to be spoiled. So the first thing I got with this order was a rack bag. I never keep these. I just put them, if I do a de-stash myself, I'll stick them in random orders. So I won't actually go through this right now. And then I did pick up two of these star purple foil bundles. This is a very, very bright purple. I have no idea when I'm going to use it. But I always have to pick up two of each foil bundle that she releases every week. So I had to pick that up. Here you can really see how bright that purple is. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. I just don't know what I would use it with. Um, but yeah, I got two of those. And then next up we have... Whoops. The beautiful Moana kit. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted. So this is the Moana kit I got. It's called How Far I'll Go, and it features custom artwork. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I will be saving this for next summer. I'm, I'm loving all of the Disney kits that she's been releasing recently at SBC. However, I am tired of the cloud full boxes in these kits because... It's a Disney kit. I would much rather have, you know, something else themed to Moana in the full box. I don't really like the addition of the cloud in these kits that have nothing to do with planning or anything like that. So that's why I've been getting the fashion add-ons for the Disney kits because I want to leave out the clouds. So yeah. I really like this full box because I think it would be absolutely perfect to put a um, quote over it. So I really like that. If you guys know any shops that have Moana quote box overlays, let me know because I'm definitely going to use that. I have no idea what foil color I would use with this. It's probably going to end up being silver or if I find a nice turquoise, that would look really well as well. But yeah, I love this kit. The bottom washi is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love it very, very much. And then this was the freebie that came with the kids, just the tall box of Moana. And then I got the washi and the fashion girls, which I actually really like the way these fashion girls look. So yeah, that is it for that order. And now I'm going to go over the June mystery. If you guys have not received yours yet, this is your warning. Okay, so this is the kit. It is a beach house theme is what I would call it. I think it's really beautiful. I do really like it. I do have all of my summer kits picked out for this summer, so I'm definitely going to save this for next year, but I really, really love it. I think the colors are beautiful. The artwork is beautiful, of course. And because this was the ultimate kit, we get all of the add-ons. So we got some extra full boxes. I love the red hair on this fashion girl. I think it's absolutely beautiful. 
love the hair on that one as well. And yeah, so now we'll get into the foil bundle that came with this kit. And I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. So this is a new Tropical Leaves format. The format itself I like. I just don't think a sparkly, this was a Champagne Lights format, or this Champagne Lights full color. I'm not sure that really helps with all the dainty lines in the foil bundle. I think the sparkliness kind of throws me off a little bit, but and I don't necessarily know that I would pair it with this kit in particular, but we'll go through this really quickly. So we have two pages of the full boxes and the headers. We have two pages of bougie. The kiss cut icons scripts and then the date dots which she looks like she's using the new font for her date dots i don't think i've noticed her use those in the past then we have some deco and then the bottom washi is really really pretty so yeah that is it for spc and that is it for this haul so i'm just going to gather everything together and then we will wrap this video up Okay, so that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will have all the shops featured in the video linked in the description box down below as well as any coupon codes I might have for them. And yeah, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!